Now to the heroic efforts to save four people in a small plane after it crashed in a Denver neighborhood. NTSB investigators on the scene this morning. ABC's Melissa Don has more. Good morning to you, Melissa. The plane's engine landed in a front yard. Incredible, Janae. Good morning. It is incredible to see how that plane managed to basically crash into that front neighborhood, luckily barely missing homes. Now witnesses describing such a dramatic scene. This morning, the NTSB looking into a small plane crash in a Colorado suburb involving four people. Flames immediately erupting from the aircraft as it went down into a front yard. There is an individual that has a head injury, one juvenile, and they do have active flame. Neighbors running to help put out the flames. Ray Powell capturing the shocking scene. There was uh, people laying in the street. I saw a lady that wasn't moving. Eric Garcia was with his two-year-old son when he saw the plane above them. It was literally gliding and pivoting. Um, like I said, trying to catch, you know, an open space. Yeah. And then it literally just, uh, as soon as it hit ground, it flamed up um, and it uh, went into pieces. The crash site reigniting Friday afternoon and firefighters once again putting out those flames. The NTSB now investigating what went wrong. The pilot reporting a possible engine issue 10 to 15 minutes after takeoff on the Beechcraft en route from Centennial Airport to Rocky Mountain Airport. I've got an oil light on, losing pressure. Can I get on the ground, please? As the pilot was attempting to land on the roadway, the plane's left wing tail hit a tall spruce tree, skidding across, landing in that yard. There was a report from the pilot that he was having some sort of engine issues. The NTSB believes that the four people on board who've been hospitalized with the range of various injuries were pulled out of the aircraft by Good Samaritans. I think somebody uh, was a hero because the only thing that was above ground was the tail of the airplane. It is remarkable that those people jumped in to rescue. And now with the NTSB is continuing their investigation on site there in Colorado. In meantime, the plane's engine and that wreckage has been moved from that front lawn and to a Colorado facility for further investigation. Wit. All right. Thank you so much, Melissa. We appreciate it.